So here's a taster of what the video is about. Um, I now have done my glaze work. It's a very short video just showing you what I've done and what I've used. Um, I'm gonna get these other little pieces uh, painted now and we'll get this in the kiln over the next few days. So watch this space, it's very exciting. It's the first time I've done anything like this. So yeah, really happy. Thanks guys. Okay, just to talk you through what I've done, uh, here's the base. That has had sapphire float three coats on it. Um, I'm just gonna keep that like that. Then what I've done is uh, the middle has had three coats of sapphire float, but I did see on one of the Amico um, groups, the fact that somebody had wiped back um, the sapphire float so that it was thicker in the recesses and it meant that this external marks have gone more brown so that's what i'm uh, i've tried to do so i've wiped it back after two coats and then put a third coat on um and then on the top i've done two coats of uh, three coats of sapphire float um underneath i've done two coats of cobalt on the top then two coats of sapphire float and then a third in the middle part here then I've put copper, um, ancient copper, uh, thick round this part of, of the top. Two coats of textured turquoise. One very, very, very thick coat of oatmeal, but then another thicker coat in this part. Then, because I am worried, obviously, I don't want oatmeal or anything. I've not put anything that's too runny on the external part of this. I've just wiped it off very gently. So I've sort of just left a very thin coat of oatmeal um and then we'll let that now dry um i will want to paint these up before i put the kiln on uh but i haven't got too much to get done before the kiln goes on but really that's where we're at and um yeah watch this space <laughs> 